iOS 16.5 has been released on its fourth beta and this is most likely the last beta of iOS 16.5 before Apple releases the RC version and of course the public version of iOS 16.5. So in this video we're going to take a look at this update and everything you need to know before you update your device to the iOS 16.5 RC or even the public release of iOS 16.5. So the fourth beta will come at around 400 megabytes. Of course, that's always different on different devices and based on which software you have currently installed on your device. And the build number for this update is 20F5059 and it ends with an A, which indicates that this is very, very likely the last update, the last beta update to iOS 16.5 before Apple releases the RC and then the public version of iOS 16.5. So here are the things that you need to know. First of all, when it comes to updating, now here you will have a few things that you can do. If you're on iOS 16.4.1, and you don't have installed any of the betas of iOS 16.5, not the dev or not the public beta, then pretty much all you have to do is just go to general and of course go to software update. Once this gets released, you will get the update here. But if you have installed the public or the dev beta and currently you're on beta 5, what you need to do if you don't want to install the RC version, which then if you do, you won't get the public update because they are basically the same update. So if you just want to skip the RC version and then just update to the public release, once it's released, we're going to talk about the date in a few minutes here. But if you just want to update to the public version right now, go ahead and go to software update and go to beta updates right here and make sure you just click on off right there. Don't choose the dev beta or the public beta because then you will have the RC on your device. And if you want to update to the RC version, which most likely will be released next week, then keep the dev beta or the public beta. But if you just want to opt out, make sure you go ahead and tap on off. And then once it's released, you will get the public update right here especially the last two betas. When we go to the battery here, we can see that it actually performs quite good. Now we have the battery here at an at 97% battery health on the iPhone 14 Pro Max here. And then we have basically the performance of the battery for the last 10 days. And here we go, here we have at around probably 90% battery. We got nine hours and 37 minutes on screen, which is actually really, really good we have here what we got here at around 110 percent maybe 20 percent battery about 10 hours on screen and right here we have about 110 again percent battery we got 12 hours and seven minutes on screen so it's actually performing really really good when it comes to battery life now of course the battery lives here will always be different for different people of course based on what kind of battery health you have on your device and of course what you're using through the day if you're playing like heavy duty games or if you're using cellular or you're using wi-fi that depends a lot of course and of course if you're using apps that require location all the time that will of course have your iPhone have way worse battery life than it should. So you can see right here, the battery performance is actually quite good. And you can see right here, this is exactly 100%. We got 10 hours and 23 minutes on screen, which is actually amazing. And when it comes to performance, iOS 16.5 also does quite good. This is the best score that I got on iOS 16.5, and this is with Geekbench 6. So you can see right there, the single core score is at 2,531, while the multi-core score is at 6,528. Again, a really, really good performance. And of course, while using it on daily basis, you will notice that it's quite stable. Of course, it's a 0.5 update, and you can expect that to happen, of course, we didn't get a lot of new features with this update, but it's actually more like a maintenance update with all the fixes and the polishes and all that, and it actually performs quite well. Now, when it comes to features, it doesn't have a lot, but it has some that we can mention. Now, first of all, one that's actually not here, even though it was on beta one, that was an amazing feature. I don't know why Apple actually pulled it. And even with beta 4, it hasn't made a comeback. Hopefully it will with the public release is the ability to start a screen record using Siri. Now that is actually very, very useful, but you will no longer be able to do that. You could do that only on beta one. If we try it now, you can see that it won't actually work. Record my screen. And 
it just tells you that it cannot do that and it's that's very very unfortunate it was a great feature another change you will notice if you have an apple watch and you go to the watch app right here if you go to general and then go to software update you will find basically the same settings as you get with the iphone updates now from here you will be able to actually choose the beta programs the dev and the public beta so let's just wait for this to load here and i will show you how you can do that in a second so you get basically the same settings that you will get on your iphone so you will have automatic updates right there and then we have beta updates of course if you have a dev account you will see the dev beta as well if you don't you will only see here the public beta you can select it from here and start receiving beta updates anytime you want some of the biggest changes with iOS 16.5 will be on the news app. So on the news app, you will now have a dedicated sports tab, which is really, really cool. On the right side here, now you will find the audio tab and then you will find following and search so basically apple has merged both of these tabs into one right there so you will have following but at the same time it has that like search glyph right there now when you go to different news here what you will find are some other changes as well so if you go here you will find a new button to show more or show less so if you tap on it you can see it will show you suggest more or suggest less right there they are missing the arrows that you could use to actually go previous and of course go next and go previous those are missing apple has actually removed those i don't know why but again you will find a few other options if you tap right there on the three dots you will find here the text size as well you can change it from here and of course whenever you want to move between different like news you can just swipe like this and if you use apps like Stripe, for example, when you go to settings and you go to the settings of that app, you will find here a button to always play sounds. Now, what this will do is that on your iPhone, on the lock screen, when you tap to pay, it will always play a sound. It doesn't matter whether your iPhone is on ring or is on silent mode. When you enable this, it will always play a sound. So these are some of the new features that Apple is adding to iOS 16 with the new iOS 16.5. I know there are not a lot, but this is a smaller update and more focused on performance, battery improvement and all that because we're already very, very close to WWDC 2023 where we all of course get the new iOS 17 and all the focus is now on that software update. But when can you expect this update to come to your device? Well, we're currently on beta 4 and as we could see right there, the build number ends with an A, which indicates that this is very, very likely the last beta before the RC version. So I would expect Apple to actually release the RC version next week. Most likely it will be May 9th. It will be a Tuesday as usual. And then the public release very, very likely on May 15th, which will be a Monday. Usually Apple does this. They usually release a public release on Monday. So you can expect that to happen this time as well. So what's next regarding iOS 16? Well, with iOS 16, we're already over with the updates with actually new features, but we can expect another update as Apple is already testing iOS 16.6. .6. Now, I would expect Apple to actually release the first beta of iOS 16.6 .6 after WWDC 2023, that would be probably sometime in the second or third week of June, even though we have nothing confirmed yet, but we can expect in the next few weeks to also get the first beta of iOS 16.6, .6 which very likely will be a very, very small update and it will only like contain bug fixes, improvements and all that stuff. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are all the things that you need to know regarding iOS 16.5 before you go ahead and update your device. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one.